Hello everyone, let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Sammy. I'm the CEO and founder at Fufu Puppies. As most of you have me probably saved under your contacts as the puppy guy, yes, that's me. Uh, I wanted to put together this informative video and answer you know, the most asked questions, uh, which I think is very important for any adopter to watch. We launched Fufu Puppies back in 2016 where the transition of larger breeds to smaller breeds started. Everybody wanted to start having smaller breeds just because it was more convenient to go anywhere with the puppy with you, to travel, uh, take your puppy to a restaurant. Uh, you know, it's very easy to clean after these little guys. It was also because of Paris Hilton. She's the queen that actually started this whole small breed trend. Uh, shout out to Paris Hilton. Let me start off by answering, you know, the most asked questions. Uh, we get a bunch of texts and calls a day. I think it was pretty important for me to put together this video because, you know, you could rewind it, watch it again, share it, do what you gotta do with it. So let's start. Uh, one of our most asked questions is, do your puppies stay the same size as in the pictures? No, of course not. This is a living being. It grows. Yes, we do specialize in micro, teacup, and mini sized dogs, but they're gonna grow at a certain age, right? They're not fully matured at this age. They're 12 weeks old. Dogs, smaller breeds, would stop growing at about eight, between eight to 10 months old. So of course, the puppy will grow more than in the pictures which is totally normal. Our poodles are about four to five pounds full grown. Maltese as well, they're about four to five pounds full grown. Um, we also do get Pomskis, those are minis. Uh, we get a lot of calls of people asking about teacup Pomskis. There is no such thing as teacup Pomskis. A Pomski is half Siberian Husky. And as you may know, a Siberian Husky is pretty big. So to get a Siberian Husky in a teacup size is not very likely. So you gotta be careful with that. You know, whoever advertises as teacup Pomskis, uh, it's not very accurate. Our first step of our process is of course you choosing the puppy you'd like. We then show you the puppy on a live video call. And then if you approve, we then send you the adoption email with all the details. Uh, so from there, the export process starts. Six to eight weeks uh, for the export process, the puppy has to be two pounds to be able to travel. The puppy has to be seen by a governmental vet that signs off the travel papers for the puppy. Once that is done, we then book the flight. Um, you could ask for video calls. We invented the video calls with the puppies and then everybody else followed. So it's very important to ask for a video call when you're adopting a puppy online. This is something that we can't stress enough about is because there's a lot of pictures out there where, you know, people think that, you know, seeing a picture on a website means that these people actually have and own these puppies. But that's not true. It's the video calls that you have to concentrate on and always ask for a live video call if they can't offer that, then that's a red flag right there. Another question that is also asked, where are we located? So our sales and support office is in Ottawa, Canada. Shout out my Canadians. <laughs> uh, and our kennel is in South Korea. Um, these puppies, they come from South Korea. I'm the half owner of the kennel. Um, I started off Fufu Puppies back in 2016. Uh, I flew down to South Korea because I knew that these dogs only come from South Korea. I met my partner, uh, which is now like a brother to me. He's the breeder. Um, he owned the kennel and I decided to, you know, partnership with him and go half in the kennel. We own all dogs that are on our website. That is something very important to understand uh, because there's a lot of people out there where, you know, they just go and steal pictures and say that we own the dogs and, and whatnot, but you really have to ask for video calls. Why are prices so high? So first of all, 
the quality of our puppies, the lineage as well. So quality is part of the lineage. We also have seven care nannies that care for these puppies round the clock. There's seven care nannies that are paid, you know, on a weekly basis from when the puppy's born until four months old. That's payroll right there, right? So before even delivering the puppy to the new pet parent, we're paying these care nannies. And that's very important because if a puppy is just left there in a kennel, not taken care for, the puppy's not gonna have a good personality. Uh, the puppy's gonna arrive stressed. So it's very important from where the puppy comes from. A clean environment, responsible breeding, this is very important. That adds up at the end, right? You're getting a dog that's not just left there and, you know, put in a crate and then sent to the new adopter when, when the time comes. No, these puppies are cared for, you know, they're socialized, they're taken outside when the weather is permitting, and they're bathed, they get their heads massaged when it's bath time. Uh, we have a groomer on site as well that grooms these puppies when it's time for grooming. Another good question is, how long does it take to receive a puppy? So it usually takes six to eight weeks because like I said before, we need to prepare the puppy's export papers, get the puppy seen by a governmental vet, and then book the flight. With live animal booking, you can't just book the flight for the next day. It has to be 14 days ahead of time. That's how it works. It's not like booking a flight for yourself. It's totally different than, you know, uh, us booking a flight for ourselves. If we can expedite the process. So we've been asked this questions a lot in the past. Unfortunately, we can't expedite the process. We've been even offered extra money just to expedite. We really can't. We'd be lying if we say yes. The reason why is because it's a process that we need to follow. We need to also follow the IATA uh, rules on dog transportation. Um, and that's, you know, like I said, it's a process. It takes time. I know the hardest part is to wait for your puppy. But of course, we offer video calls during the process. Um, we can't offer video calls every day just because we have a lot of other tasks to do. We're glad to give, you know, about three video calls during the export process. You can feel free to ask for them whenever you'd like. Also, something else I'd like to, you know, explain is that we're dependent on the airlines, right? So a flight can change. The airline could, you know, send us an email saying that, you know, this flight has to change. It's no longer going to be on this date. We've had a lot of people in the past, you know, questioning us about this. It's really not in our hands. It's not as if we want to keep the puppy longer just for the heck of it. No, we're dependent on the airline and what they give us is what we have to go with. Where do we deliver? So we deliver to seven major airports in the U.S. where it's a direct flight, where there's a direct flight available. Um, you could visit the delivery page of our website for all the destinations. We do deliver also to Europe. We deliver to Mexico um, and a lot of other places by Nanny. The Nanny is a third party that's been delivering puppies for us for the past, you know, six, seven years now. Um, she goes to most of the international destinations. Some countries we can't really deliver to, and that's all found on the delivery page of our website. Can I pay with a credit card? You definitely can, and you definitely should pay with a credit card because that's the only way you're covered. Any legitimate business would take credit card payments. Can I see pictures of the parents? Yes, so a lot of these puppies, they're born at our kennel. Uh, which we have pictures of the parents. We also have a page called the Dam and Sire page that you can visit. Uh, on that page, there's a lot of you know videos of some of our adult puppies. Um, but I also want to explain that we do have puppies that come from different kennels, and the other kennels we don't always have pictures of the parents of because we don't own the parents, right? 
We can ask for them upon request, but we don't always have it. If you could visit the puppies in person, you definitely can. Uh, Pre-COVID, we had a lot of clients, you know, fly into our kennel to visit the puppies in person, to choose their puppies. Um, but we do also want to explain that in order for you to fly back with the puppy, the paperwork has to be done in advance. Or if you're willing to stay in South Korea for about seven days for us to be ready, you know, with the paperwork for you to fly back, then that's also doable. Uh, if you can't wait, then you would have to tell us in advance which puppy you want after meeting the puppy on a live video call. And then that's when we would prepare the paperwork under the adopter's name so that you could fly back with the puppy. We delivered two ways. The first way is pet cargo. About 99% of our clients receive their puppies by pet cargo. A lot of people come up to us and say, well, pet cargo, you don't, my puppy is gonna be with the luggage. No, of course not. That's, that hasn't been like that for the past, you know, 10, 15 years now. Puppies are not transported where the luggage are. It's a designated area on the plane that's for pets only. It's temperature controlled, it's pressurized. There's food, there's water attached to the crate with food and water access during the flight. They do just fine. Um, they eat, sleep, repeat until arrival. And you'd be surprised how much energy the puppy has you know, when you pick up your puppy at the airport. Are the puppies vaccinated? Of course, they can't travel without, you know, being vaccinated. So they're fully vaccinated against rabies with three shots of the Vanguard Plus, which is a three vaccine in one. It covers uh, canine parvovirus, canine distemper, and canine coronavirus. Our puppies are also microchipped and dewormed. So yes, to answer your questions, of course they're vaccinated. They can't travel yet alone, enter you know, Canada or the United States or any other country if they're not vaccinated. They do also come with a full health certificate and a record of vaccination. Do you offer video calls? Of course, we invented video calls and you should always, always ask for a video call. If somebody can't offer you a video call, that's a red flag right there. The best questions of them all is, are you a scam? As if the scammer is going to say, well, yes, you know, I'm, I'm a scammer. No, of course not. You know, there's ways to, to know. Um, you know, go out there, be a responsible adopter, be a responsible buyer. Uh, get on the internet, research us. There's a lot of ways you could find out. Uh, you know, we have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, a website. We offer video calls, we take credit card payments. So there's ways out there that you could know if a company is a scam or not. We've been in the business for about seven years now. We're proud to deliver, you know, exceptional, amazing puppies, just like Mr. Kirby right here. How are you doing? You're okay? Yes? All right, so we also put together a fraud prevention page. It's very important to go through that page. People come up to us and say, hey, uh, you know, we found pictures, your pictures on other websites, uh, and we thank you guys for that. Right away, we report them. We also have some of these websites listed on the fraud prevention page. So it's important for you to go over that page, you know, go over the websites that we've recorded. There's a lot of red flags that, you know, that come up, you know, just by looking at pictures, you could Google reverse search a picture to see where that picture comes from. Do your puppies have tear stains? All right, so tear stains comes from tap water, from, from high amount of minerals in water. Um, don't give your puppy tap water, always bottled or filtered water, which is very important because it is the minerals that cause the tear stain. What food do you feed your puppies with? So, we feed our puppies with Royal Canine Puppy Starter. It's very important to have that food ready before your puppy arrives. There's a lot of people that don't like the Royal Canine brand. Fine, we respect your opinion on that. 
you could later on change. But it's very important for the first six months of receiving your puppy to stick to that food. Not sticking to that food could be problematic. Your puppy might not be eating, which could cause, you know, hypoglycemia, God forbid. It could cause a loose to, um, there's a lot of, you know, explanations why you should stick to the food that we recommend. You could then later on change the food uh, by, of course, transitioning to a new food gradually. When doing so, you have to do it, you know, on a seven day period where you would start mixing the new food with the old food. So you would start with 75% of the old food, 25% of the new food. And by the middle of the week, you would be at 50-50 with the old food and the new food. And by the end of the week, you would be at 75% of the new food and 25% of the old food. Adopting a puppy is a big deal. And you have to be a responsible pet parent to be adopting a puppy. You can't just, you know, do it for a trend or do it because you want to look good in front of others. No, this is an actual, these are babies, right? Just look at it that way, that you're adopting a baby. So these, you know, they do need care. It's a lot of responsibility. You have to wake up to feed. You can't just say, oh, you know what? I'll wake up later on to feed my puppy. It doesn't work like that. Or my puppy's not that hungry. We'll just wait until the puppy, you know, wants to eat. No, they really have to eat, especially with tiny breeds. You can't just skip a meal or two. That could be problematic down the road. Pomeranian coats. This is a big one. So, as you may know, we're known for our Pomeranians. A lot of people come to us for our Pomeranians. Uh, second place would be our Poodles. Third place would be our Maltese and then our multi Uh The Pomeranian coat. You know, you guys see a lot of these teddy bear cuts online, which look super cute. Um, I'm not gonna say no, they're, it's amazing. You know, it makes the round face, uh, and makes the puppy look, you know, more handsome or pretty. Of course, we're not against it, but there's a good time to do it. You can't get a Pomeranian at four or five months old and do the teddy bear cut. So all Pomeranians go through a molting stage. The molting stage is when the baby coat sheds and as that happens, the adult coat of a Pomeranian is growing at the same time. They start losing the hair around the face and they start looking like monkeys. They also call it the monkey stage for that reason. Um, and that starts at about four months old. From four months to about 10 months old, the puppy goes through a molting stage. During that stage, just don't touch the coat. Don't be doing no teddy bear cuts, uh, especially not using any machines. When you do do the teddy bear cut, always find a groomer that cuts with the scissors and never with the machine because that could damage your Pomeranian's coat. It's tempting. Yes, I'm not going to say no. You know, you want your, your puppy to, to have that teddy bear look, which they are teddy bears for sure. When looking for a groomer, uh, make sure to ask the groomer if they use the machine or scissors. Using the machine is a big no-no. Never, never, never use a machine on your Pomeranian's coat. You have to find a groomer that knows how to work the scissors. That's the only way or else you'll damage the coat. Half the beauty of a Pomeranian is in the coat. So you really have to take care of the coat and to find yourself a good groomer. Don't use any unnatural products. Heck, just don't use any products at all. You don't really need it. What you need is an oatmeal based shampoo um, that is high polyergenic for sure. And like I said, is natural. Prior to transportation, our puppies are checked by our vet. Uh, they look out for all the main issues, main diseases, uh, if there's anything wrong with the puppy, because with us, clean bills of health is priority. If anything is wrong with the puppy, the doctor is right away notified. Uh, they get to get a refund, or 
to choose another puppy. Transparency and honesty in this field is super important because you don't get to be there physically with the puppy. You're choosing a puppy online. Yes, we do understand that you know it's not always easy of choosing a puppy uh, you know where you can't really touch and feel and be there physically with the puppy. And putting your trust in us is a big deal and we always put our clients first. We don't let you guys down. Um, do your research on us. Uh, we're a family-based business. We take our job to heart. Uh, we're compassionate. And like I said, we put our clients first and that's always gonna be like that. When we first started back in 2016, we saw how these other sellers and breeders, etc., were conducting business and we wanted to be the exact opposite of what they were. Uh, we wanted to provide you know, exceptional customer service. We wanted to deliver puppies that come from a clean environment, responsible breeding, and of course, that are happy and well taken care for, right? Because that's very important on the puppy's life later on. If a puppy comes from a bad environment, of course, the puppy's gonna arrive, has a bad temperament, uh, yada, 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 you know, it's, 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 it goes on and on and on. So it's very important where the puppies come from, how they're cared for. Um, I also wanted to add that the puppies are checked by our vet, the puppies are checked by a governmental vet assigned by the Korean government to, you know, confirm what our vet is saying. And also the puppies checked by a vet at the point of entry to any country and then we also recommend that you take your puppy uh, to the vet on the first week of arrival just so that you know the puppy is checked by about you know three to four vets and if anything was wrong with the puppy god forbid uh, you know it would have been picked up from one of these vets we do also offer a one-year health guarantee we stand strong behind our health guarantee this is something that's very important to offer because you know, you're paying a lot of money for these puppies. At least give the adopters peace of mind. God forbid if anything would happen to the puppy. If it's not, of course, a physical injury or a trauma, we got you covered and you can do your research on us. We never let our, our clients down. And we're always there for you guys. The quality of our puppies is simply unmatched. Here, just look at this guy, and you all understand what I'm talking about. We set our standards high, and the quality of the coats, the quality of the face, uh, that's something that we go after. We don't just bring in or breed just any type of puppy. As you may see here, this guy says it all. Our standards in breeding is top of the line and we don't cut corners on that. Another question that we're asked a lot is how long do your puppies live? And the best answer for that is that they live as long as any standard size dog. Uh, you'd be surprised. A smaller breed lives longer than a larger breed. And the reason why is because they eat less. And diseases come from the amount of food that you eat. Just like for us, you are what you eat, right? Same thing goes for dogs. Um, they live as long as any standard size dogs. On average, 12 to 15 years. Of course, depending on the lifestyle that you provide for your puppy, uh, the amount of activity that your puppy gets, um, you know, if you're not just leaving your, 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 your dog at home, doing nothing, just laying around, uh, no table food, that's a big no-no. Do not, as tempting as it is, do not give table food to your dog. That is a big no-no. Uh, so to answer your question, you live as long as any standard size dog, 12 to 15 years and sometimes longer just because of the amount of food that they eat. Last but not least, I'd like to thank all of our adopters, all of our supporters, all of our followers. We are nothing without you guys. We owe it all to you guys. Thank you for your trust. We can't wait to exceed your expectations and to deliver beautiful puppies just like this guy right here. I hope we answered most of your questions. Please don't hesitate to contact us via text, call, or email if you have more questions. Again, my name is Sammy. 
I'd be glad to speak with you and to answer more of your questions if you have any. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.